Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to an all new Project Pan. So for today's video, I will be updating you on my 2022 rolling Project Pan. Okay, I almost said 2021 just now. I can't tell you how many things I have signed this year, even though we are now halfway through the year where I have wrote 2021 or written 2021 and how often I still say that. So my 2022 Project Pan We've got an update today and I am adding one new item into the project. So I'll talk about that one at the end, but if you are new here, hello, I'm Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about cruelty-free beauty and I've been project panning for, I wanna say like five years now. So if you are into this style of content, you love using your makeup, you love using your products up, getting use out of them, this is the channel for you. Be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. Oh yeah, also, if you don't know what a project pan is, I have a video about that that I can leave linked down below. Okay, today is day two of filming in my new apartment. Well, I guess, well, day three, but the second sit down video that you're seeing filmed here, I just filmed Friday's video. Hopefully, if all the lighting and everything looks right in that, this will be Friday's video. It is testing new drugstore makeup, so stay tuned for that video. I found some really, really great products. But today, I tried a slightly different vantage point. The video that you guys saw from me on Friday, I was facing a little bit more of the wallpaper. Today, I'm a little angled slightly more, and I wanna try from a few different directions. I'm not sure I'm sold on this, but definitely leave me your feedback down below if you like this background. But Let's start with, ooh, let's start with just a general update. If you guys caught last month's Project Pan update, you know that I was moving right along on my Milani bronzer and I gave a great update in the video when I was about to be done with it. And then immediately after filming the video, I dropped it and it shattered. So I had to take that out of the project because the, the product had to be thrown away at that point. It shattered all over my floor. So I actually am going to be replacing that with a new product. So I wanted to update that in this video. I did have a lot of you guys asking me last time, like, did I replace it with something? Because it happened right in the video, I decided not to. I just kind of took the month off from trying to pan a bronzer type of product. But in today's video, I am going to be adding something to replace that. So I will talk about that at the end of the video. But Let's start with the foundation. So I will note that I did move last month. I've talked about that in a lot of videos. So I don't feel like I made as much progress on these items as I typically would have because there was at least a full week where I just wasn't wearing makeup. And honestly, it might've been more like a week and a half, almost two weeks. So on some of these items, I do see good progress, but on some of the others, I don't. And I attribute a lot of that to the fact that I was just so focused on moving. A lot of my makeup products were packed away, so I just wasn't using them. But the foundation, I still make great progress on. So it's the Koki Skin Perfect HD. This is the foundation that I'm wearing today. And it's just one of my favorite foundation formulas in general. And I feel like I've been making really great progress on this. Based on the progress I've been seeing every single month, it would only make sense for this to be used up by next month. So hopefully in the next update you guys watch, this will be a completed product because based on how far I've gone each time, it, that would suggest I should have it finished up in a month. So hopefully we can do that, fingers crossed. Now the powder, I feel like I've made really great progress on. I put this in pretty recently. It is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder. Unfortunately, Bite Beauty is going out of business and this is one of my favorite powders. So I'm sad that it's gone now, but I am almost done with mine. I have really great progress on this. I'm excited for you guys to look at the side-by-side -side comparisons and kind of see where we started to where the pan is at today. It's really large. And even around the pan, like there's a really good size dip. I've been using this a lot lately. Like this is the time of year to be flying through a pressed powder for me personally, because I feel like I'm having to touch up a lot more frequently than I would in the winter. It is hot, I'm sweaty. I could probably even touch up right now. Like I have been just applying a lot of powder today. I'm very, very warm. It is like high 80s, low 90s in New York this week. I really like this formula and I'm having a lot of fun panning it. I'm thinking this is probably about two months to be finished, I'm thinking. Now my cream blush, well this is a liquid blush, but this is from 
Glossier. It is their Cloud Paint in Beam. I feel like I've made some really great consistent progress in this every single month. I've been very into liquid blushes lately, so you guys have heard me talk in my previous updates about how much I've loved mixing this with other cream products, and that was also the case this past month. Like I said, my progress this month is slower than I might have expected just because I was moving. And so I wasn't reaching into this as much as I might have otherwise, but I still feel pretty good about this progress. I'm thinking based on where I'm at, this might be closer, <laughs> this might be closer to three to four months, but I know that I can finish this one before the project is over. So I feel good about the progress on the blush. Ooh, this next one, uh, you're gonna be very impressed. Now, when I say that, I don't necessarily mean that you'll be impressed with the progress because the progress is not, it's not anything special, it's not anything exciting. What I'm talking about is the fact that I didn't lose this. So my lip liner that I've been trying to use up is always accompanied by this little piece of paper that I use to track my progress. And today when I was getting ready for this video, I was looking for it and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I just moved. I have, I still have things in boxes. I've been unpacking. I've been trying to stay super organized about things, but inevitably when you move, like there will always be things where you're like, where, where would that be? And I thought that was going to be the case with this. I was like this little tiny piece of paper, like she's a goner. There's no way I'll still be able to find this paper. And alas, I have the paper. So that's the impressive part. The update is not. When you see the close-up shots, you're gonna be like, Kelly, girl, I didn't even add a new tally because there's nothing to show for my progress. But I'm actually not wearing lip liner today, so let me apply some right now. I said last month I might take this out of the project. I think I'm just gonna keep it in. Like I said, it's so hard to judge a lot of the progress that I made in this last month because I was moving. So I don't want to decide to take this one out yet just based on a lack of progress because I wasn't really using it. But I've switched around my makeup drawers and I think I'm going to do a vlog about that soon. But at my vanity, I have a more organized section where I'm keeping the products I'm using right now, which includes my shop, my stash items and my project pan items. So I'm thinking with this new system, I will be more inclined to reach for this. So I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give it one more month and we'll see. My Koki Be Bright Concealer. Someone commented in my last update that this is the Pure Cosmetics Brow Pencil from 2021. And I think you're right because when we started this project, I said that the Koki Be Bright Concealer would take me one to two months. And we are now in July and I'm still not done with this. It's like Mary Poppins bag. I think, oh, I've used a lot of this and yet there's still always more coming out of it. It's hard to track progress on concealer because you can't really see it lowering, but I don't know guys, it's getting to the point where I am sort of scraping the sides, but there's still always a good amount of this. So the shade that I have in this is medium light. So it's a little bit dark for me to use on its own. So I'm typically reaching for this as a mixer and I wear a lot less concealer these days than I once did. So, so often I'm just doing like a dot of this per under eye and then mixing it with something else. So the progress inevitably is going to be slow and that's really been the case with this one. My Mary Luminizer, I don't think we're gonna see very much progress in the close-up photos. Maybe I will surprise myself, I don't know, but I don't feel like I used this one as much this month as I did some of the other items in this project. I rarely am using a powder highlight these days. Today I did, I was testing a new one for the video. This one is from Essence, so stay tuned for that video. It's pretty bold and pretty, but when I am using a highlight, it's not always this like yellow based highlight. I prefer something rosy like the one I'm wearing today. So I, I might reevaluate in a month if I wanna keep this in the project. We'll kind of see where we're at with the close-ups, you know? I thought this might be an easier use up than it is, but it's moving along pretty slowly, but we'll see. And now I wanna update you guys on my replacement for the bronzer. I debated if I replace it with just another bronzer. I looked at a few others as options. I thought about using my Skin Glazing Bronzer from Nabla in the shade Ambra. I also thought about returning my e.l.f. primer infused bronzer to the project. I really do enjoy that one and I've tried to pan it before, but the one that I decided on might surprise you a little bit 
and it is my mini from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. So, the reason I wanted to put this in is because I really like this and I don't feel like I've been using it enough. And that's one thing I really love doing with my project pans is almost allowing myself or kind of encouraging myself to consistently reach for products that I love. And that's the category this falls into. Like I love it, I love using it, but I haven't been reaching for it too often. So I think it would be nice to work on panning this and to see if I can make some progress on it and enjoy using it a bit for the next few months. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in until it's like fully used up, but I'd like to get some more use in this, maybe make some pans. So this is the item that I have decided to replace it with. Now, when I started this project, we know this is a use it up type of project. I wanna use up 22 in the year 2022. And I was really heavily focused on adding items that I was almost done with so that I could use them up. And I still really want to reach that goal of 22, but there are other products like this where I'm like, I'd want to get some use out of it. I want to use an item that I love that I haven't been reaching for that much, even if it means I'm not focusing on something that I could easily use up and add to my list of 22. So right now we're halfway through the year. I'm not halfway through that number goal yet, but I still feel pretty confident that I can reach that by the end of the year. I'm not too worried about it. I feel really great about the progress that I've already made on this project in 2022. And for me, project panning is about using the products I love and that was definitely what has happened so far for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I'll leave my full playlist link down below. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.